Speaker of the House of the 61st Legislature, the Honorable Gus Mutchley. and this uh, coming session, actually we're going to be trying to meet the needs and demands in the uh, field of education. So we're going to have to try to move out and meet the demands with respect to public health. We certainly want to evaluate our water situation in Texas and the water development program. And this could also include uh, water quality, water rights, water research. And then of course we will want to go into our all phases of transportation mass transportation, and highway sy systems, and, and projects of this nature. And I think it's safe to say that we're going to be having probably 1,800 bills at the end of this session. Mm -hmm. As it looks right now, <coughs> what's going to be the most controversial thing you'll face? I would think the number one controversial matter is going to be is how we're going to raise the money to finance the uh, needed projects uh, in state government. You have some personal ideas on that yourself? Uh, I would like to reserve the itemized uh, method, so to speak. I, I'm certainly going to be awaiting the report of the uh, governor's report. I'm kind of anxious to meet with my own uh, chairman of revenue and tax and some of my other house leaders. And after we evaluate this in light of the governor's recommendations, in light of our overall spending, well, then maybe we can start putting priorities in the line of taxation. Ski fashions are the in attire this time of year at popular mountain resorts, and unfortunately, also among some of the anti-social circles in Dallas. This home in Highland Park is the home of Mr. and Mrs. Henry English. Last night, it was the scene of the fourth ski mask jewel robbery in this area since December 29th. An estimated $32,000 in jewelry and guns was taken from the investment broker and his wife by three men wearing ski masks. The bandits tied up the couple before they left, but did not harm them. Police in Dallas and Highland Park, as well as the FBI, are still investigating, but say they have no real leads on this or the other robberies. However, Highland Park Assistant Police Chief W.H. Gardner has these recommendations for citizens. I think any time they hear a noise or see something that they can't explain to their own satisfaction, something that they see or hear that's going on around their home or in their neighborhood. We would suggest that they call us. If people prepare themselves in the home for this situation, and then uh, the hijackers that come in the house, they're going to have to be prepared for whatever precautions that the homeowner has taken due to the publicity given the other robbery. And I see uh, one man here may have never owned a gun in his life, and he just 
decided he was going to protect his home. He decides a gun and brings it home, and the hijackers come in on him. He thinks he has to use it. Or if he didn't have the gun, he would say his, his own life or some member of his family. Number one. He wrote this, by the way. Thought you'd get a kick out of it. from uh, Saigon you know I saw him in the hall he's on crutches and I said what happened he said I was going down the road and he said I had this rifle in my hand he said and out of the bushes came this Viet Cong he had a rifle and I looked at him and he looked at me and I said Ho Chi Minh stinks and he said President Johnson stinks and while we were shaking hands we got hit by a jeep <laughs> <laughs> The individuals can return them, but it has to be done on an individual basis. For instance, it costs six cents to uh, uh, mail a form back to the county tax assessor's office. It is for, I, I mean, and if we do it, it simply means that we will have to put a six cent stamp on every form and and uh, this runs into money. I mean, all of us have to be reminded of many things in life, and uh, organizations like the uh, NAACP and the Alliance, we do make it our business to uh, uh, stay on top of situations of this kind, because uh, we feel that the people need educating in this 